and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some more Kalia and friends. This is another donation deck. Realize I didn't update the decklist command over here. This is another donation deck that we had last week that was a lot of fun to play. Hey, what's up, Tony? Thanks so much for that sub there. I appreciate that. And it, our deck was a little off, you know, like we, we were, um, you know, wasn't wasn't perfect or anything. And so I've been working on it and we are back at it. Tony, thank you so much. That's sub number 11, starting towards our next sub goal. Let me get that over here. Okay. All right. So what is this deck all about? So our deck's all about Kalia Zenith Seeker. This card is sweet. And also, by the way, the animation for this card is awesome. So we have uh, our 3-mana three 3-3. Three, three. So whenever it enters, you look at the top six cards, and you can reveal an angel, a demon, and or a dragon. So at first, I thought it was just you choose one. But you do get to choose any angel plus any demon plus any dragon. Now, as you can tell here, we are mostly all... Hey, way pickfall. Pick fail. Thank you so much for the cheers. Wow, that's a big time cheers. You are amazing. Thank you so much. And then we also have a new sub with, with Jeff, Jeff Sitka. So y'all keep this hype going in the chat. Show some love for Tony, uh, Way, and Jeff. Thanks y'all very much. So yeah, as you can see here, we have a, an angel sub theme. So we're mostly all angels. Like that's that's what our Kali is going to be doing. It's going to be grabbing an angel most of the time for us. Um, and sometimes we'll grab a demon or a dragon, but we're not very heavy on the demons and dragons. We got two dragons here with the Hellkites, and we got three demons with the Doom Whispers and the Embodiment of Agonies. We did not play this card last time, but I think I want to give it a try. This is a card that you don't really want on turn three because it's not going to, it's not going to be, you know, it could be a zero, zero, maybe a one, one on turn three. This is the kind of card that's like later on in the game when you're double spelling, you know, you can play like with six man, you can play a Kalia and then embodiment right away, or, you know, like a resplendent plus an embodiment later on in the game. But honestly, I guess, so I, I am, uh, like last time I was talking about how maybe this wouldn't be good enough, but I think I do want to try it. And the big reason why I want to try it is because of the death touch. Even if it's a small creature, even if it's like a 1-1 one, one or a 2-2, two, two, that death touch means it should be trading up anyways. Um, so yeah. Uh, as it can, we have 2, 3, 4, 5, and 0 as far as casting costs. I don't know if we're really getting the zeros into play, but two, three, four, five. So it's you know basically the, as big as it can be is like a four, four. Um, oh well, that's <laughs> so it's not not going to be real big. Um, but yeah, it's not something that's special. First, if it did not have Death Touch, we would not be playing the card. But with Death Touch, it should still be trading up, and it just gives us another Kalia target. It just it increases the power of Kalia. Oh well, thanks thanks so much, Jeff. Thanks for using your Twitch Prime. I appreciate that. And yeah, glad to have you here. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's, this is our deck. We're going to give it a try, see how it goes. Uh, we weren't playing Clarions before, and I feel like Deafening Clarion is a, is a really strong card that we didn't have in the deck before. So we got those in here now, more in the sideboard. Um, got some Blood Suns, of course, because of the, the Scape Shift decks everywhere. Got some Gideons to help out against, like, Esper Control. Um, and that's what we have. All right. Uh, we we didn't have like the tithe takers in before, and I think tithe taker is a lot stronger than bishop of wings before playing like four bishops. Bishop just has not been very impressive. It's it's good against like the aggro decks, like mono red in particular. But besides that, it's not a very impressive card. One fours are really easy to ignore, and they just don't matter. All right, let's get let's get to playing some games here with Kalia and friends. Oh, it's each wait. It's each individual card type, for not casting cost. What is wait? What does embodiment do? <laughs> Am I just like saying like the card wrong? Probably. If you're just watching this video later on YouTube, we are almost we're getting close to ten hours into our twelve hour stream. So I'm not. I'm starting to wear down. It's unique casting cost. Okay. So not just like two CMC. So BR and dub dub and one dub are all different. 
unique casting costs. Okay, so Embodiment of Agonies can actually be pretty big. Never mind. That card's great. It's probably great. Who knows? Johnny's welcome. Johnny ain't welcome here. Johnny's welcome to go somewhere else. <laughs> All right, chat. Time to get the fun command ready. No, not the healer's hawk. Not the healer's hawk. The healer's hawk protects a Johnny's pride mate from Angrass Rampage. So I guess that that little thing on the hawk is supposed to heal stuff, I guess. That like armor. <laughs> Alright, it's not like that it's not like that card's gonna do anything else. Yeah, we did see this matchup earlier on stream. I'll play against the the life gain deck that mulligans to five and doesn't do anything. We already had one of these today. Yeah, different color on the casting costs would change things for the embodiment when it says different casting costs. So the colors do matter there. I was planning on playing the Doom Whisperer here, but nah, I decided just to go with the Aurelia. So that's why I played the Dragon Skull Summit. What? Give this thing flying? I don't want to have flying. <clears throat> really hope we draw a land and we get to go Soren, Resplendent Angel. Wait a minute, I have Doom Whisperer. I'm pretty dang sure I can draw a land since I have Doom Whisperer. But not 100%. I'm pretty sure I can do something about that. I mean, I guess mortifying that Johnny's pride mate is probably pretty good too. I don't really want to do that this turn though. I want to play Soren and Resplendent Angel. Can I just keep... There we go. I just want to keep that Mortify for next turn. And find a land. I have come for vengeance and blood. The weak feed the strong. What do you think of Blade Brand? Uh. I don't think that was the best block to be doing. In fact, I think that was actually the worst. Besides dying, that was the worst block. Uh, no, I, I would not. I don't think that that, that black instant target creature gains death touch draw card. I don't, the thing is, it's a card that doesn't do anything unless you have a creature, and then you just give the creature death touch. And is that really that valuable? I would just... Opt is going to be a better card. All right, you're, you're working for it. You deserve it. Get in there. There you go.
Hmm. All right, rampage out. Grasp in. Legions end in. Clarion out. Looks good. All right, who's going to be gaining more life? Ooh, we get to go first. That was very nice of Lucifer. <laughs> okay. Why are you biting me? I'll give you something to play with. See, so don't distract me. So I'm trying to play over here. I guess I noxious grasp. Yeah, we'll do the primate. This should should be over. I think. I want to draw Kalia so we get to play it. Ooh, get it. <laughs> Until we achieve peace, we must Strength of the Pride. The Johnny's there. Get him, a Johnny. Okay, that's your cousin. Cousin of Johnny. That's my charger. Can I, can I put the charger away? You don't play with it? Definitely should play the land first to be able to activate Resplendent Angel, but oh well. Just two damage and two life. All right, I'm gonna put this over here. There you go. Is that fun, Hawkeye? Oh, you're gonna go get it now? You gonna go get it from over here? Yeah, I think that, that pirate that has Death Touch is pretty important in this Ultai Flash list. Um, maybe it doesn't need to be a 4 of, but I think that turning on the, that pirate counter spell is pretty important in everything. Yeah, we're teaching the life gain deck how to gain life. Oh, now they're gaining a lot of life. This is kind of a mess, I suppose. Alright, I guess I should... Only focus on trying to win this. I guess I did try killing a Johnny.
That's not a good it's not a good block. First strike. I hope we meet again soon. Yeah, where's our star power? Hey, Chris, what's up? Oh, you had two heart surgeries and two cardio, cardio shock side. treatments? Oh my gosh. Man, I am so sorry to hear about that, Chris. I will bend you Hope everything's strength. okay. Yeah, we're going to be at a little bit more than 70 life. Kalia! Animation! The sweet animation here. That's awesome. Gotta get, gotta get two hundred. No, we didn't get two hundred. It was ninety-one nineteen though. That's good. Ninety-one nineteen. All right, we got we got the Kalia animation, so first match is a win. We will now count the first match as a win. Windstorm. We've been playing some people with some cool names today so far. All right, the embodiment of agonies. Sarah's animation is your favorite? <laughs> Thanks, Euphoric. Yeah, we're playing some awesome decks today. This is a good, we got a good lineup. You can choose to sacrifice any creature. Which one would you like to sacrifice? The Druid or the Cowl? Okay. <laughs> yeah. They're just all rares and mythic rares over here. Kalia! Get in there! Whoa! We got two. Oh, I was thinking we got three. We got two. Okay. That's the first time I've ever gotten two with Kalia. Um, is there a couple good choices? We're playing against a green deck. Green deck, we're probably going to want Resplendent Angel. That was sweet. <laughs> the Omnath Kool-Aid Man animation, that is... That is exactly what Omnath is, is Kool-Aid Man. <laughs> I played Angrass Rampage, I'm guessing in a Jun deck, as a proxy for Assassin's Trophy in Modern, and then it got paired against Infect. Okay, so I want to play Seraph here, but honestly, it's, it's better just not to be, not to continually shock. So we'll just play the Resplendent. <laughs> I 
I'm Nath. Step one, be yourself. Step two, dip your hands in hot Cheetos. Step three, stand in a river. <laughs> Gore Claw. So yeah, they, they could go like really big here, and it could be pretty scary. That's why I was thinking Resplendent Angel, because Resplendent plus Lyra can be a lot of lifelink and everything. Um, so I could Mortify the Gore Claw. Yeah, that's just the thing to do. Like, you could save Mortify for like a... Uh, uh, a Galta and play like the Doom Whisperer here. But if they don't have Gore Claw, they're like not even playing a Galta. Plus, we got Death Touch with Embodiment of Agonies. And Seraph also has Death Touch. Aw, oh, look at that cute little boar. Wait, that's a pretty big boar. That's bigger than my angels. Ah, classic movie you're watching tonight is Armageddon with Bruce Willis. I haven't seen very many Bruce Willis films. Like I saw like the Sixth Sense, uh, Sixth Sense, um, you know, way back in the day, like whenever it came out. I think I may have saw saw that in theaters. I don't know how young I was. It was that was a long time ago. But I don't know if I can really name. Too many other Bruce Willis movies I've actually seen. No, I have. I've never seen the Die Hard movies. I never have. No, I know. There's there's a lot of there's a lot of movies that I haven't seen, and Die Hards are one of them. I just I was never a movie watcher like growing up or anything. Just it's always like kind of an active person and stuff I just didn't really watch movies and even now you know like I just I play magic all day so I'm not watching movies fifth element I don't think so I don't think so what's our opponent doing they're doing green stuff all right green stuff let's get this thing in that thing um I don't know about clarion I guess they did play a four three Yeah, I'm I'm active. I'm playing magic. <laughs> so fifth element's awesome. Oh man, everybody's saying the fifth element is great. Um what am I taking out? Tithe taker. Yeah, you can you can go tithe taker. I'll get another Clarion in here. Yes, Blood Blood Sun's a lot better than Alpine Moon. Alpine Moon gets blown up by uh, Blast Zone. Blood Sun doesn't and draws you a card and shuts off all of their lands. Like it stops their lands from scrying. Just gets rid of everything. This hand's probably gonna lose. Nah, 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 we'll win. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen the diehards. Haven't seen like the Mission Impossible's. Haven't seen. I'm just trying to think of like those kind of movies. Like I just found out that John Wick was a thing with the third one with streaming here and y'all being like, oh, "I'm gonna go see the new John Wick movie or John Wick 3. I'm like, "Wait, there was what's John Wick?" I do like Mila, Mila Jovovich. Jovo, oh, sorry, Jovovich. Jovovich. Probably Jovovich. I like her a lot because uh, the Resident Evil movies. Because I I was real big into Resident Evil whenever I was a kid, so I, was, I would see the Resident Evil movies. And she's awesome in those. Johnny Denko, do you have the current deck list for the Orzhov Sacrifice deck with Cavalier of Night and Hunted Witness Playcrafters? It's somewhere in here. Uh, it's it's right there in the decks. You can find it. It's probably from probably from like four or five, six days ago. 
Um, it's in there. Kind of look for it. You can also you could also find it on the YouTube channel if it's easier to like look at the the thumbnails on the YouTube channel and look for it. And you can find a link to the deck list there too. So there's two places to go find the deck lists. I I think the the stream decker page is kind of hard to to read and see and everything. And I just prefer the the going through the YouTube channel myself. That's what I recommend. If I have a deck generally built, would like you to tweak and rebuild it and play it through. Yeah, yep, that'd be it, Ferguson. Um, is it still my opponent's turn? Is it my turn right now? Whose turn is it? I don't know. What what happened to the things to do stuff? Oh yeah, I just played a land. That was weird. I don't know. I guess I just passed the turn. But yeah, that, that's what it normally is, Ferguson. But honestly, if you just go with the, the twenty the twenty dollar donation, I'll I'll do that too. Um Yeah, I guess there's a I guess there's a bug that doesn't show the phase and I can't I can't click to the next phase. So I have to just skip turn. Wait, so then how do I attack? I have to like what tap out? I tried spacebar didn't work either. Yeah, I might have to exit and re-enter. Jeez. Alright, death touch and seraph. Oh yeah, I can't. Yeah, just just go. I guess I have to just auto pass. All right, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to alt F4. I kind of need to see see those phases. Yeah, I'm gonna have to restart. Yeah, Chris. It's sorry. Yeah, sorry. To, sorry to hear that. Hope everything's okay. Hope you're doing good. Okay. We're back. Right, I'll play Aurelia because it really gives the Seraph vigilance. Yep, got the new glasses. I like them better for my eyes than wearing the contacts all the time, especially with looking at the computer screens like this. No, Kalia whiffed. So yeah, you know, they say good game. This is basically over. I just, I wanted to play Kalia again before, before our opponent conceded. Yeah, we have we have had a very good number of lands this game. For this this league. What am I say? Get three spirits. 
Ooh, I haven't played this thing yet. Does it have an animation? Lame. <laughs> okay, well, we had a couple easy ones here with the mono white, then mono green deck. I restart because I, I couldn't play. There was a bug that I couldn't I couldn't go to the next phase. There was a bug that was keeping me from going to the next phase. So that's why I re restart. Yep. Ten hours now. Still going strong. And taking tomorrow off, because it'll only be my second day of July the, to take the day off. Take a take a day off, so I'll be, be doing that. Resting up, recharging, making new decks, all that kind of stuff. And we'll be, I'll be back Friday. Normal time, 3 to 10. And this weekend, of course. And uh, tomorrow's August. So I only had the ability to take one more day in July off. Oh, yeah. So tomorrow is... Oh, no. Because today is... So I guess I only did take one day in July off. So I'm starting I'm starting off August very lazily, I suppose. Man, I'm going to miss all these angels and their cool animations. All right, the old scry bottoms. It's August for y'all now. It's not it's not August yet here, but there may be a gust of wind outside. I am not going August. To uh, I'll protect you. All right, I'm I'm done. You just let me know if you're up for round two. <laughs> Tacho count negative one. Ugh. Yeah, it's been a great record today. It's been a really good stream. We've been we've gone to the final boss every single time. We were defeated twice. <laughs> Thumbs down. Uh. Oh. Need a haircut. I'm planning on getting a haircut tomorrow. It's one thing I'm certainly planning on doing. Should I... <clears throat> like, do I need to be worried about Kaya's Wrath? Probably not, right? I don't know. Anticipate? Anticipate's got to be like a control-heavy Kaya's Wrath kind of deck. I know I got, like, the spirits and stuff, but... 80% win rate on the day? That is very, very good. Strong to quite strong. <laughs> I am aghast at that joke. Aghast at that joke. Just got beat by Skeeving Symmetry and Vicious Rumors? You are not the first person to say that. This isn't your average zombie horde. Impressive, isn't it? I've had somebody else say that in here, too. I gotta, I gotta make a Vicious Rumors Skeeving Symmetry deck. That is sweet. That's a sweet combination. Some good clean magic right there. Mm. So close to killing him.
So I can haste put him down to one. Um, but then Kaya's Wrath, I'm in trouble. So I should I should kill the Liliana. I'm gonna play this thing. Ugh, looks like you're on your own now. I don't want my Hellkite just to die to a Kai's Wrath right away. Maybe my opponent doesn't realize that they're like almost dead or dead. They play Bell Haunt. I don't think they have Wrath, so I'm going all in. That one stupid life from this Tranquil Cove. Like, why do we have this Tranquil Cove in here? Besides just to gain that one life to keep them alive. Yeah, I'll be on until about midnight tonight. Uh, Eastern. It's 10 o'clock Eastern now. Duress, Gidgen, Chandra, Grasp. All right, out. Clarion, Legion's End, Cast Down, Cast Down. Um, all right, some of this other expensive stuff. I think like some of these like angels kind of have to go. Oh, Bishop of Wings, get that card out of here. All right, now we got to take out three angels. It's not great for Kalia taking out three angels, but that's just the thing to do. I'm thinking... It's, having Lyra in my deck can be bad if they have Command the Dread Horde. I could take a Kalia out, but I think it's worth keeping Kalias in over like these other things. Because like Lyra Shalai are just not gonna be drawing cards at all. Where Kalia, even if Kalia misses a good amount of time, even if it's like drawing a card half the time, that's still, you know, like half a card. Kalia does die to Oath of Kaya. Oath of Kalia. Though I suppose. Oh well. Yeah, they want 40 ounces of water already in 10 hours? I've drank, I don't know, like 10 ounces, ounces of water. Something like that. Yeah, that is, yep, yep, it's, milk is still kind of good, but yeah, you gotta cut the, gotta cut your Cokes and all those sugary drinks, but yeah, drinking a lot of water is definitely good for you, I'm, I'm a fan of drinking tons of water. On, um, like, my, my normal routine, my normal daily routine, you know, I, I stream from 3 to 10, Usually around noon. I don't get rid of this blood crypt. I guess it's the Goblet Shrine. My normal daily routine is like I usually get up like around like between eight and nine, and from like nine to twelve or so is when I like put the decks together and maybe practice them if I need to and that kind of stuff. Get get everything ready for the stream and then from like twelve.
12 to like 1, 130. About 130 is, I, <sighs> seriously, I draw Tithe Taker and didn't take Cry of the Carnarium. That's just bad luck. I <clears throat> do like my daily exercise thing. I have a few different workout uh, things I do then, and I drink so much water. Always drink between like half a gallon to a gallon of water. So I do that daily. So yeah, I am big on drinking lots of water. Ferguson with a donation, dick. Thank you so much there. So what, Ferguson, what day do you want me to play it? Um, let me go down here. So yeah, what, what day do you want me to play it? Uh, you know, Friday would be the first day. Friday, but then Saturday, Sunday, Monday, you know, like whatever day. And then do you want me to play it early in the stream, late in the stream, in the middle of the stream? And... Um, yeah, give me any other, any other directions. I know you wanted me to, to work on the deck. Um. <laughs> but any directions about it, like, you want me to, do you want me to keep any specific theme? I mean, well, obviously, so it's a black-white land destruction control land destruction deck so I mean that's I'll keep that theme I mean but like are there any specific cards that you really want to have in the deck in particular or I don't know any you know any kind of direction I want to make sure that you, I want to make sure you like the deck and everything of course but yeah so we're going follow the Thran Leyline of the Void follow the Thran that's pretty sweet and pretty mean. Ashiok. Yeah, Aurelia or Lyra would have been lethal playing either one. I don't know. Didn't really see any reason to to play him though, honestly. I mean, besides besides just that, like our opponent didn't really have much of a chance of winning that. I mean, I guess, like, if we play one of those to have lethal right away, and then they have to spark, and they just spark those, and then they untap and Kaya's Wrath, I don't know, they're still dead, because they still have the, the token from the 2 1 and the Soren, so. Oh well. Alright, so you just want Leyline lay line and Fall, for sure. And Friday into stream? Cool. Well, this hand may not turn out too well if we don't draw our lands here. Any more of those over there? No more. Yurok, Krasis, Yurok. Oh no. Okay. I it could be a best of one deck too. I, I can I do best of one in donation decks also. If you'd prefer me to play it if you'd prefer me to make it a best of, you know, tune it to be best of one and you want me to play it in that format, I am willing to do that too. I don't have to just I don't have to play best of three. If you like playing best of one and you want your deck to be best of one. Then we'll do best one. And that's that's good with me. All right, we're getting there. A 
lot of basics over here for a three-color deck. Okay, best of three. Okay, cool. I don't need to keep that Tithe Taker. I was, I was focused on the Resplendent Angel. I should have put the Tithe Taker in my graveyard, but we should have enough life and shouldn't really matter too much. Killing that thing, because with killing the Leafkin Druid, it makes it likely that my opponents only play as your rock. And we can, you know, certainly outrace your rock. I uh, I think it's just you. I think the overlay is good to go. Kalia Dang. Not expecting my opponent to be able to stay alive here with Resplendent Lyra. That is really cool how Doom Whisperer gets to put something, you know, put puts the angel in the graveyard, puts the Lyra in the graveyard that the Soren brings back. That's a really cool interaction there between Soren and Doom Whisperer. I was gonna do that with the Kalia there, but then saw the Lyra and was like, oh, I'm just gonna do that. I know it is kind of crazy that Doom Whisperer is not not played more with how its stats are. Maybe this is a card that will gain stuff after rotation, because yeah, it is 6-6 six, six Flying Trample for 5 mana. It's pretty insane. We can take out the, the Tithe Takers in this matchup. Basically we want Rampage for like Nyssa. So I'm thinking like Rampage for Nyssa, Clarion if, you know, like Nyssa, a bunch of things. Into Spark, Grasp, pretty obvious there. Maybe, maybe one Legion's End, one Rampage, because if they don't have Nyssa, which I'm not sure if they have Nyssa or not, if they don't have Nyssa, 
Rampage isn't really doing very much. We're making them sacrifice some crappy creature. There you go. Yeah, Doom Whisper is good. Ooh. Yeah, we're on the draw. We'll keep it. Could be a really nice looking hand if we curve, you know, deafening Clarion into these angels. Clarion could be really good here on the draw. There we go. They did not play a land. So let's kill these things. Is in the reef. Hmm, maybe I should wait a turn. Still no land? Awesome, Vistra. Oh, yeah, that mono black control deck's a whole lot of fun. Uh, that was the worst card for us to see but I mean we're we're doing great <laughs> yeah wow no lands for them all right real quick 4-0 got a quick league here we're just cruising all of our hands have been pretty good our decks looked sweet Yeah, it's really nice that, yeah, that is really nice that Embodied Agony self-tracks the counters on here. That is re really nice. It's very convenient. Fi yeah, final boss. We are back at the final boss. I'm not going final boss playlist, though, tonight. Because the two times we went final boss playlist, we lost. The two times we didn't, we won. Hmm. Yeah, some days the cards just kind of line up for you, and it makes your life easier. We've kept a lot of two landers and then drawn lands three and four and been just fine. We've been doing that all league, so I'm not expecting that to change here. I mean, I did just open my big mouth, though, and say something about it. So it probably will change. Nope, see? We're we're great. Life's good. Life's good. You're feeling down, Jay Lamb? Um, it's so it's okay to feel down. Um, there's there's nothing wrong with that. But just know that that life's gonna get better, and and you're gonna be able to pick yourself up and you know fight through it. You you're gonna be able to overcome. And, and yeah, um, I don't try to, try to look for, you know, the positives that you have in life and, you know, look, look towards, you know, look towards the future of what, what can you work towards and what can you build towards and, and try to do that and, and always just keep looking ahead instead of looking at like what exactly is going on right now. Try to shape your future.
require your body, not your soul. All right, we'll get our resplendent angel back. All right, going to game two. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna miss resplendent angel for next set also. They're kind of a, a weird mono red list. We haven't been playing against the most optimum lists in this league. But our deck has looked really solid, though, too. So no complaints there. What cards do I want to take out against red? Probably, like, Rampages. And, like, out of the top end, like, what cards are not so great against red? They kind of all are. Maybe Seraph of the Scales? I have to trim something up here or like a, a hell kite if i just want to trim a five drop i think it's it's the worst five drop i could see trimming kalia in this matchup if we trim other angels maybe one kalia one seraph and get a couple duresses in here just to lower the curve and everything Yeah, sleeping, getting a full night's sleep is really important for feeling well. And yeah, y'all are saying some other good things too. Of course, exercising, getting, get that sunlight outside is very important as well. Those are good cards, but I don't want to do, I don't want to have nothing to do until turn four. So from a psychiatrist here, finding find a profession that you that you want helps so much. Oh, I bet. Yeah, that's that's something that I you know this is a profession that I really enjoy. Just being here, playing Magic is a lot of fun, and of course you all make it you all make it very enjoyable being here and everything. Um, you know, if I was just sitting here playing magic and there's nobody you don't look nobody here, My friend is here it would not make it nearly as good so I could I could wait a turn but I'm taking three damage let's wait a turn Legion's end is is just awesome yeah it's um yeah it's it's very good it's it's a main deck card for sure I'm a pretty great pyromancer. Oh, they're so cute. The Chandra's a problem, I'm not gonna lie. Chandra's a problem there. The messier. Really? Now duress? I couldn't get that last turn before the Chandra? Wow. Well I can't beat these things like at all. That's a pretty good hand. It's all about this Chandra too. If it wasn't for the Chandra, that would not be I would not be worried right now. Say hi to my fiery friends. Yeah, the Tybalt is, is just really shutting me down, too. Mother Ludi always say, fight fire with fire. So I can't gain life. 
with the Tybalt out there. Smothering Tithe is ten dollars. But no, I would not I would not put Legion's End at going up that much. The reason why Smothering Tithe would have gone up that much if it's ten dollars is because of EDH. And Legion's End isn't really an EDH card. What's the deck that will be affected the most by standard rotation? Um that would be Probably mono white. But all the single color aggro decks are going to be affected a lot because of the Chain Whirler, Benelish Marshall, Tempest Gin, like that cycle. All right, Rampage back in. They're playing those, those Planeswalkers to Bolton. Chandra, got to get rid of those. Doesn't really seem like I want Mortify. Yeah, obviously Scapeshift isn't a deck without Scapeshift, because, I mean, it's that's the name of the deck. If you ever lose the, the name of the deck, that's not a good sign. I kind of need all these cards. I want to play Tithe Taker on 2, Bishop on 3, Aurelia Resplendent after that. All right, game three. Can we get the 5-0? Uh, obviously, I had my second Aurelia on top, so I should have got rid of the first Aurelia. There's two in the deck. Devil. So Soren can pick off this Tybalt too, and then let us have lifelink for attacking. That hurts. That doesn't hurt as much. 
Gonna play the Soren first because it's easier to minus if. Let's leave one back to block, actually. It's easier to minus if, you know, we have more loyalty, so, you know, taking this thing up to six immediately. This deals one damage to the player or planeswalker that they're attacking. Not to brag, but I'm totally the best. Don't worry. I brought. Company. So that's three, six. That's six damage coming in at Soren. Crap. Well, I guess I have to block then. We all make sacrifices. <laughs> Dang, that's so much damage. My okay, so we'll have Aurelia pump up this thing. Make this three power to hit Chandra for three, down to one loyalty. And Soren is very good at picking off Planeswalkers at one loyalty. So there we go. Chandra down. GG. All right, back up to 39. That's a lot of life gain. <laughs> we just gained 4, 8, 12, 14. We just gained 14 life that turn. I can wait millennia for Looks like we got the 5-0. GG's. Just casually at 58 against the Cavalcade of Calamity deck. <laughs> Five win dream. Got there. Wow. All right, so to be honest, um, the... The league wasn't the hardest. But boy, did we steamroll through it. Like, we made those decks look silly. Um, we did beat an Esper, Esper control deck, but it was not an optimum, uh, optimal Esper control deck. But that's where I think we would struggle with, uh, struggle more with. But, man, our deck looked really impressive, though. It did. Um, yeah, this is, yeah, this is Mardu Angels. Yeah. But it looks really good. Um, the, uh, the Sorens were absolutely incredible. Um, Kali was pretty cool, but yeah, just, just the Angels. Just very good. Uh, Doom Whisper, Hellkite, they did their job. Um, yeah, just a really, really strong looking deck. Uh, I, I'll play this again soon. You know, and another another stream probably this like like this weekend or so to to give it a try to see because we did have some easy pairings there. Um, so you know we we'll, we have to do we'll have to play this again and see if it holds up again. Um, but yeah, this that's about all I have to say with the deck. I there's nothing that I really want to change. Before next time, I'm going to probably just play the same 75 again. I liked what we had going on here. Yeah, I liked what we had going on here. Yeah, Doom Whisperer was really, really good for us. Very good card there. Uh, the Doom Whisperer Soren combo is pretty awesome, where you you just surveil. Like I I you know I I played Soren on four mana. I ticked up to like six. 
play Doom Whisper on turn five, and then uh, uh, surveilled over Lyra, and then just brought Lyra back. <laughs> so you could, I guess, yeah. So you could you can do that like back back to back. Like that's really cool. Um, this one. Ba -ba -ba. So there we go. That's Kalia and friends. Kalia Zenith Seeker playable in standard. All right. If you're watching this video later on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. But I hope you enjoyed the deck. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.